Keller, J. Sergeant First Class, serial number 7178412. Iran, Guatemala, Colombia, Croatia. Very impressive. I know what you're trying to do, sir. It ain't gonna work. No, Sergeant Keller. You don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm here to clean up this mess. If you cooperate. If I walk out that door, everything you did will be declassified. You will be convicted, you will be discharged, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Very well, Sergeant. Have it your way. Wait. What do you want me to do? Tell me everything you know about Seventh Wave. Weapons dealers. Heavy hitters dealing mostly in high-spec, former Eastern Bloc hardware. Clients began to include terror cells. Seventh Wave was escalated to priority status after they took out nine agency spooks. Coordinated executions. <coughs> Division wanted Seventh Wave taken out with extreme prejudice. Intel zeroed in on three possible targets. Valencia was the boss. Ruben and Yevtyshenko were the muscle. Three teams were tasked with Overwatch until it was time to take them out. I had one of those teams. Intel suspected the Brits, Chinese, and Israelis had teams in the area. Everyone was after these guys. Who was the fourth man? Gunfire. Didn't think much of him at the time. What went wrong? We got made. You were specifically told to hold, but you didn't. Why? Charlie team was down. I wasn't gonna let this guy get away. The hallway and the first floor were clear. I heard movement above, I made my way up. And that's when I saw him. The fourth guy? Yeah, the fourth guy. The after-action report you filed states he got the drop on you. But he doesn't fire. Why? He was American. Not Russian. Not German. Not Chechen. American. Interesting. And how do you know that? He spoke to me. And what did this American say to you? I can't remember. RPG hit the building. Everything's blank after that. And your next assignment? Doubleheader. Destroy a seventh wave weapons cache and stronghold at Najran. You were ordered to RV with a Lieutenant McCarver en route to the objective? Yes. Would have been a breeze if the maps and the intel on the border crossing wasn't at a date. The only thing right about it was the farm. How did you know McCarver had information on the American? I'm not sure I follow. Keller started grilling me on seventh wave. I told him what I knew. And what was that? <sighs> Rumors, mostly. There was talk of an American running training camps in Afghanistan. Freelance guerrilla group in the Philippines with an American advisor. You know, stories like that. And you believed them? Not at first. But then the blanks started filling in. What blanks? Operation Cleopatra. The first time I heard the name William Lennox was when I was posted in Langley. Lennox was a wet work specialist. S4 assassin. Cleopatra was meant to prevent the terrorist bombing in the center of Cairo. It was a disaster. The bomb exploded, killed a lot of people, including Lennox. At least that's what Division thought. Three months later, he turned up in Moscow. Two weeks after, in Seoul. Then Belgrade, Belfast, London. Always one step ahead. And you think Lennox is connected to Seventh Wave? Connected? <laughs> he started the whole thing. McCarver was brought in yesterday. So how did you know she had info on the American? Sergeant Solomon was in her unit. He tipped me off. Coincidence, that's all. I don't believe in coincidence. What was your brief on the next stop? McCarver wanted an access of advance from the east. Plan was to cross the cemetery on the edge of Nazran and then hit the steel plant on the far side. We were less than a click away when we got hit. Rumor 
rumor has it that Division ran a black ops group. Lennox was one of them. No ties, no strings. You expect me to believe we had a terror cell working for us? You can believe what you want. Fact is, Lennox was off the book, so there's no way to prove it. Very convenient. Lennox did the thing in the Congo, the special in the Philippines. This was professional contract terrorism. Lennox held all the cards. Started making small deviations here, little switches there. Before long, things got out of hand. Mistakes started being made. Costly, bloody mistakes. Division decided to pull the plug on him. Miami got the call. Lennox took them all out, single-handed. Everything changed after that. So what else did she tell you? CIA's most wanted was Lennox. Different name, different profile, do not approach tag, but it was him. Most wanted terrorist was one of our own. And you believed her? Why wouldn't I? What was your take on the next stop? Destroy a steel plant being used as a weapons factory. Division figured if we couldn't cut off 7th Wave's head, then the next best thing was to disrupt their operations. It was deemed too dangerous, too politically volatile for a regular strike. So McCarver's crew was tasked. No way anyone in their right mind would volunteer for this. I had the opportunity to speak with Sergeant Solomon. Interesting man. Didn't have anything good to say about you. You're a liar. When Lennox surfaced after Cairo, rumors spread like a virus. Division tried to keep it under wraps, but they couldn't. How did you connect him to 7th Wave? See, after the Miami screw-up, my crew was assigned to take him out. At the time, we didn't know it was Lennox. That all came together afterward. We never knew if the target was really him or not. Yeah, he was good. Kuwait City, Tokyo, almost had the shot in Kandahar. We came close a few times, but he always got the jump on us. S4 finally took him out in northern Pakistan. He's buried in some valley. What's your take on Sergeant Keller? Hothead. He's fucking out of control. See, the guy doesn't know the meaning of collateral damage. Tell me about Valencio. There's nothing to tell. Our crew is assigned to take him out. The op was simple. Get in, get out. After the job at the steelworks, we were upgraded back to alpha status. Valencia was one of the big four targets, a seventh wave boss. He escaped from Charlie team, so we were sent to bring him in. Intel reported he was hiding in an old asylum. Please, 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 I don't know. Think of your wife, Nina, and little no, Milos. No, they have nothing to do with this. They will. Unless you tell me where Lennox is. No. Where did you get that? Sit down! Your mission was to take out Valencio, not torture him. What's going on here? Just answer the questions. So you hit the dockyard based on Valencio's info? Yes. Under what authority? Lieutenant McCarver. She briefed the vision and they greenlit the op. No, they did not. She never went up the chain. What? McCarver has been under investigation for some time now. Your mission ended at the Steelworks. You had no authority to execute that operation. We had division dockets that outlined the operation. My former team would go in first and pull the trigger. I was riding shotgun with McCarver and Solomon. Two teams, one area. Lennox was the target. We lost a lot of good people. Battle school buddies, weren't they? Yeah. Your team was ordered back after the mission. McCarver convinced you otherwise? Yes. You had nothing to do with it? Yes. I mean, no. You're fucking with me. So which is it? We all agreed to go after Lennox. But Sergeant Solomon wanted out. He didn't take much persuading. Lennox needed to be stopped. He wasted my friends. So, what was the plan? We were almost there. I wanted to kill him so bad I could taste it. Like blood in my mouth. I was closer than any of the others. There was no way I was gonna let him get away.
Lennox is dead. I killed him. You know what he said to me the first time we met? He said, don't trust them. I don't believe in coincidences either. They were right about you, Keller. Right about what? Your predictability. You did everything the psychologist said you'd do. What the fuck is going on here? Lennox is not dead. He's very much alive. And thanks to the mess you created, we can hunt him down without Congress breathing down our necks. You have untied our hands. What are you talking about? You're right. Nothing is a coincidence, Sergeant Keller. I am going to destroy William Lennox, and you are going to help me. Well, what about the charges? My trial? You will die in a fiery crash on your way to the hearing. As far as anyone is concerned, this fiasco will end with your death. You made it through, Sergeant. You crossed the finish line. A while back, you said you wanted to kill Lennox so bad you could taste it. Can you still taste it, Sergeant Keller? Yes. Then let us begin. <laughs>